my name is Andy Tattersall and this is Site Hacks. This video explains the citation advantage of making data open. Data is an essential but often underappreciated and less visible part of your research output. Academics publish research with the hope it will get discovered and cited, but what about the data? Your research data is an output that can be shared, cited and reused if you have the right permission. Not all research data can be shared freely, but for those with the permission to do so, there are platforms such as Figshare that will allow you to do this with the right license. According to Force 11 Joint Declaration of Data Citation Principles, sound reproducible scholarship rests upon a foundation of robust, accessible data. For this to be so in practice as well as theory, data must be accorded with due importance in the practice of scholarship and in the enduring scholarly record. In other words, data should be considered legitimate, citable pro products of research. Data citation, like the citation of other evidence and sources, is good research practice and is part of the scholarly ecosystem supporting data reuse. A Spark briefing paper that looked at three studies in astrophysics all found notable increases in citations from research with open, accessible datasets. Spark Europe found that data, open data, is proving to have a positive effect on the research impact of certain disciplines so far. Heather Pior and Todd Vision published a paper in PAJ titled Data Reuse and the Open Data Citation Advantage. They pointed out various studies that concluded that those who made their data open did receive more citations. Their own research, which looked at gene expression microarray data, found that the papers with publicly accessible datasets received 9% more citations than those which didn't. Making your data open has many considerations, most importantly that you have the permission to do so. In addition, that it has gone through a rigorous data management plan and that it is in a state where it can be reused. You can make your data open, but if it is in an obscure format, poorly labelled and incomplete, then it won't be of use to anyone. There are other possibilities by making your data open, in that it may lead to collaborations, and you may also dig into the growing number of available datasets to conduct your own further research. For more information, you can visit the University of Sheffield's own data repository, ORDER, or look at the Initiative for Open Citations website. I'm Andy Tattersall, and this is Sitehacks.